Hi, I'm Jonathan Scott. And I'm Tom Scott. And together we're Scott Brothers Duo. And it's really wonderful to be here today to present to you for the Royal Canadian College of Organists and their Organist Launchpad. Now we have an international performing career performing together and also a large following online on our YouTube channel. And a lot of people say, how do you have a career like yours? And so it's fantastic to be here just to be able to talk about what we do to reach a wide audience. Yeah, organists have many different skills and maybe they have different aims as well. Not specifically maybe to have a career like me as an organist or us as a duo, but also just to sort of enhance their career. You Maybe you're established or maybe you're just starting out. So hopefully there'll be something in this for you today. So I think we should move straight on with the first topic, which is going to be branding. Yes. So branding, I mean, what does that mean? I mean, obviously, it means kind of defining who you are. Um, if people look for you, what do they find and what is that impression that they get? Yeah, you've got to define who you are, really. And what are you trying to put across to people? What do you want them to have from you? Basically, you're making yourself saleable in a way. What is your product, really? Um, not that you want to be talked about as a product in a, in a way, but the idea is that... Um, you are unique in what you do and your skill sets. Every person has unique experiences. And so the idea with your career is to look forward with the branding of how you can enhance your career with the skills and experience you have and put that across to an audience. So if people look for you, what do they find? Yeah, very often um, with myself and Jonathan, we have kind of quite a variety of different skills. So it can be quite confusing and overwhelming when people try and find out what we do. So um, the first thing I wanted to do was, well, give ourselves a very clear name. Um, I called ourselves Scott Brothers Duo um, because I didn't want us to get too confused with other Scott Brothers. A, a unique name is probably quite a good idea if you are, especially if you're a group or, you know, even if you're putting on a concert series. Yeah, if you look online for, say, Scott Brothers, first of all, you'll find various different people out there. You'll find uh, uh, Canadian property developers and some people who are butchers in Scotland. And as a result, you will get contacted by all the wrong people. We have had emails from people from many different subjects, from advice about sausages to light fittings. Yeah, I hope that they uh, like that advice that we gave them, because <laughs> I'm actually thinking about it. So the idea of this branding is for people to know what you do. So talking about what we do as a, a duo. I'm an organist. I've also worked as a pianist and done lots of solos and concertos, also with choirs, with brass bands, also in higher education and academic work yeah. as well. And so how do you define that into your branding? The same yeah. with Tom, really. Well, I'm a pianist and I also um, create animations uh, for use in uh, to accompany classical music. So it's, it's, I'm a multimedia composer, really. So that contains so many different elements. So it can be quite overwhelming for people when they see so many different things. So you're trying to put across who you are and what you are. So once you've got your name, really, you might need something else image-wise, such as yeah. a logo. I mean, we created a logo. It was um, one that uses lots of the different elements that we have. So we've got a piano in there, pipes, uh, musical notes, but the main thing is it says clearly Scott Brothers Duo. Um, so once you've got that, it's probably time to think about making a website or something like that. At the end of the day, when people search for you and we say, well, what do they find? Well, they have to be able to find you. It's got to be clear. And then they've got to be able to contact you. And a website really is useful for that. Yeah, a website basically is your real shop window to the world. So on the internet, when people look for you, they will look for your website. So you have to be contactable, information about you, images of you, concerts and events. Yeah. And so you might not have the experience to do that yourself. Tom has the experience and does actually design our website for us. And so he has those basic elements and it might just be one simple page. Yeah, I think one simple page can be very, very good. Basically, you could put your main elements of, of what kind of tells everyone what you do in a very clear way. I mean, the, you can have biographies and things like that, but we were talking about this where the biography often can be so complex that no one will actually ever get to read the whole thing. And so you've got to think about what those first few sentences says about you as a performer, as an artist, um, and, and get something across which, you know, is obviously impressive and a little bit unique and different and just say something about what you do. Yeah, so your website content. So if you start with your biography, you could probably easily write 
12, 15, 2,000 words about yourself on a page. And the website is more the place to do that. You'll also have the option on the page for people who want to book you for a concert. So you might have a biography which is only 200, 300 words. But sometimes people will contact you for a concert and they'll say, we need to edit your biography down to 100 words. And people aren't going to read your 2,000 word biography and edit it down and take the most interesting points that you think you want people to know. They'll probably just take the first 100 words. So if you look at your biography on the website, does it say what school you went to and what pets you have in the first sentence? And that's what they take and put in a concert program. That's not how you want to be represented. So my best advice for a biography on your website, first 100 words, make sure it covers everything you do in your career. Yeah, I mean, if you look online at other people's websites and think about, okay, that's one that I like, I think that that's a good point as well. You can actually go and see who, who created their website if you want to use uh, some a website building company and things like that. So contact people, get in touch and, and find out how they've, how they've created their websites and their kind of uh, unique way of, of you know, putting themselves online, really. Yeah, well, we'll come to other parts of it later on with images and such like, but also you want your concerts and events page as well because when you've got yourself out there with your branding and everything, when people come and look for you, what are they going to find and what do you want them to come to? Do you want them to come to an event? Do you want them to see something online? Do you want them to come to a concert? So if you keep your website up to date, and this is one of the things about website building which is important because it's quite difficult for people sometimes to keep them completely up to date and manage them very, very quickly. Yeah, make sure you've got access to it to update your concerts page and that's the main thing really. And then the most important thing of all, be contactable because out of the world of the whole internet, social media and everything out there, most people will go online and try and find out how they can t contact you to book you for whatever you are trying to put across to them. So a contact page is the main thing I would say on websites. Yeah. Yes, make sure it's very, very clear. So I hope there's something useful in this about branding and your websites and how to get out there. And so in the next part... Yeah, well, we're going to talk about social media. So I hope you can join us for that.